It's time now to check in with what's going on in the project. Hamish hey, McDonald joins us at the desk. Hey, nice this to see you, Rhonda. I know, in real life. And at midday, welcome to midday. Good what's to see it like? You. <laughs> um, holidays from hell. Are you going to be talking about that tonight? We're talking about that on the project tonight. We're going to meet a young woman called Tess. Mm -hmm. Obviously, Australians travelling again. The insurance companies are all warning us to be prepared for what can go wrong. Um, Tess went to Thailand in 2015, ended up getting her appendix out. Oh. That was not what should have happened at all. Mm. Um, it turned out to be something totally different. This is Tess. Oh. Be like hundreds of thousands of dollars at this point in time. Medication, yeah, you know, surgery, medical supplies. Um, yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot of money. Basically, I feel like I've been to hell and back in the last seven and a half years. So, so that story tonight. She should still have an appendix. Is it? Yes, she oh. just ended up in a quagmire oh, wow. of legal bills, insurance wow. stuff, okay. the whole shebang. That does sound uh, so like a, a warning for us all if mm. we're planning to go away this year. Now you have gone away. You've just come back. You've been in Alice Springs. What were your observations there? Yeah, so we've got a big uh, feature story that's going to run this Sunday night on the Sunday project. We were there for a big chunk of this week for that town hall meeting, which has obviously caused so much controversy. We were right in the middle of it. In fact, we were in the middle of the argument that broke out during that meeting um, with some of the participants accusing the convener of sort of white supremacist mm. type language because he'd said to everyone, you know, um, if you see a young Aboriginal kid on the streets in the afternoon, the best thing you can do for them, this is to paraphrase him, this is not a direct quote, is to call the police and get them taken home. Um, and clearly there are members of the Indigenous community that feel that that is sort of a dog whistling tactic. Um, but there were a range of different views in the room. There was about two and a half thousand people there. Um, there were some Indigenous people, but it, it's mm. got to be said that they were very much in the minority. Now, we had the uh, Children's Ground Chair on midday yesterday, um, mm. Uncle Sh William Tillmouth. Yeah. Um, you spoken to Children's Ground? Yeah, we Ground? spoke to William Tillmouth and Cherise Buzzacott, who yep. runs a lot of the programming there. Um, you know, there is a view, and I think William particularly expresses this, that the laws that have been in place that effectively prohibit takeaway alcohol being purchased by Aboriginals in parts of the Northern Territory are racist. Mm. That is his view. Mm. That if you target one particular community group uh, with a particular policy that takes away their choice, that this is racist. Yeah. There are also Indigenous leaders in the community there, like Don Archie, who runs the Congress, which is the Indigenous Controlled Health Body, that says, look, if the... If you get enough buy-in from Indigenous communities for yeah. these policies and the policies work, then she argues that's positive discrimination. And that is coming up on the Sunday project. This Sunday. But tonight, the holiday, the, uh, holiday from hell. Thank yeah, you very thank much, you. Hamish, for joining us at the desk here at midday. And that is the latest news for this Friday, the 3rd of February. I'm at Neurola Jacobs. You can join us for more at 10 News First at 5. Uh, and we'll be back with Studio 10 at 10am 10 on Channel 10 on Monday. Until then, good afternoon.